Testing one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome to part two of the video series on this cheap bike build off. Let's talk about the cheap bike build off for anyone who doesn't know. A few Instagrammers, Second Life Bike, Mullet Mechanic, Ben Cycles, Struner, a few others uh, got together, created this challenge. Budget of 150 US dollars to do a cheap bike, see what they could do, see how cool they could make it. Uh, and then a few people like me had already have project bikes in the pipeline so just decided yeah i'm making a video let me just jump on the bandwagon and get it out hey i'll just finish the app in there um i go on far too long so i'll just pick back up where we finished off where we're putting on the new handlebars and we just have to finish the cabling so i'll check back in in a few minutes and sit back and relax So I struggled to get the cockpit on this one, uh, there's a little um, chamfer or like a little edge on the handlebar that I just had to file off and yeah so it took a bit of time, really annoying. Yeah I like to take my time with the cabling, I really think it can really uh, make a bike build and really finesse it and really take it to that next level of um, not just done by an amateur but, but being done by a professional and a competent one. So I spend a lot of time just making sure the cable lengths aren't too short or too long and that also all the curves are the same length and they all match. Um, so yeah, not that they're too, that they're sagging or that they're too tight. Um, not so much for performance but more just for aesthetics. I think it's really important. I had a friend ask me after uploading the last video about adjusting brakes and brake calipers and I think he meant V-brakes but I was just explaining to him that it's actually extremely difficult, finicky and it just takes practice. Uh, so I thought as an interesting note I'd include the video shots of me adjusting the brakes. Now this is heavily cut but um, and I think I'm going to speed it up just so that it's not too boring. But yeah, it's extremely difficult. It's nearly an art form. And if you can get it right, uh, fair, fair play to you. So I thought it'd be interesting just to do a not a real time, but a sped up time of me in one shot adjusting the rear calipers. It's very finicky and it takes, this was a 22 minute video sped up really quickly. So. Once, because this has a cable stop and a bridge cable, it's extra finicky. You have to adjust the tension or the length of the two cables, and then hopefully that it works out. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it took a while. And then I need to adjust the brake blocks, make sure that they're interfacing with the rim correctly, do some final adjustments on the cables. And then I noticed the rear wheel was still slightly buckled, even though I had straightened it out before. And yeah, after that, then I could adjust the tension of the caliper. So yeah, quite a tricky and finicky thing to do. And I don't enjoy it particularly, but it is very satisfying once you have a nice and clean and crisp break after it all. So I like this little trick here, if you put the chain into the third cog of the cassette it effectively pre-tensions the derailleur so that when you tighten the cable normally it's already pre-tensioned but I don't have a clip of that. And now we're just into me and putting on my favourite thing, the chain stay protector. Um, I got this off eBay, they cost £5, they're pretty cool.
I'm just gonna finish the build here. Uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with all the components. The one by drive chain, until I talk to the person who's buying it, uh, then I'll just see. Maybe I'll give it away to a friend. Then I'll check about what they want to do. Whether if they're going to be doing a lot of pedaling, maybe put the three by back on, or else uh, just leave it on the one by. Yeah, again, that's enough babbling. So we'll just take it for a test ride, and we'll take some shots and in the good old set bike socks. Let's stare at it. So the dust cover for the thumb shifter is actually glued on and just before this ride it fell off so apologies for that. So the smoke effect on the paint job uh, was created apparently created by actual smoke or paraffin torches or something to that effect and yeah I thought it was really cool you can pause here if you want to go through the cost and detail but I'll talk a bit more about it after this long up clip So I feel a bit guilty about going over the budget of £120, uh, happy to be disqualified from the competition but it is justified, I wanted a bike that wasn't just cheap but just that was in full working order and that was the minimum cost to get it to it. Uh, yeah, maybe I could have skimped on the upgrades but then I'd be stuck with an old uncomfortable bike that I didn't want to ride and wouldn't want to give to a friend. So for those interested, um, this is how I search for the bikes. Um, I just go into Gumtree or eBay and search man's bike. Um, usually you can come across some really good deals just by people doing clear outs or not understanding the value of bikes. Um, and as you can see here, it was just a one image. It was close by to where I live, so I messaged the buyer or the seller and yeah, we've made a deal. Also for those interested in the value of a bike, um, this is a local uh, charity based in London, they help out refugees um, and this old mountain bike giant escape is listed on their website for £450. This is a similar spec and similar age of what I've got, although this is a bit of a mix. So yeah, you could say the back of the values anywhere from 100, 150 all the way up to 400 if you have the right buyer. So again, thanks for watching the video. If you've made it this far, a big massive thank you. Overwhelmed by the views and the support I got for the last video. It was like 1600 last time I checked. So yeah, uh, expect monthly uploads. Um, I can't keep up every few weeks and there will be a variety of maintenance or me just riding my bike. <laughs>